What's going on, guys? We got Death Crayon coming in with some Q&A. Um, he's got a good question about his compressors for his airbag system. Um, he just installed that and he did it all himself, but now he's noticing that his battery and his power is going down immensely. Um, it makes sense, man, because first off, you don't have the big three. Second off, you don't have an upgrade alternator, and you're running two 35-amp compressors off one alternator. Add that up, you know, that's a 70-amp draw, and you're... you're no doubt your alternator is probably 70 amps to 120 amps max on stock. So you need to upgrade that. That'll definitely help with the um, excess amperage department. And uh, yeah, man, the big three will allow more current to flow through there. Um, and that'll help with your airbag system. So I uh, hope that helps, man. Try to go get an alternator. Um, MCR has some good stuff. I'll leave a, leave a comment if you need me to explain that a little more. Next up, we got Ultigamer101. Come in with another question. He wants to know if it's terribly necessary to upgrade your highs and your mids, you know, before putting some bass in the back. He doesn't want to go and have to spend 500 or more dollars on something they didn't think of. Well, I got some great news for you. You really don't need to do this unless you're going all balls out. You know, you can have a really nice, evenly balanced system with bass in the back and stock up front and have it sound great. All you gotta do is turn your bass up in the back and turn your bass down in the front and turn up the mids and the highs up in the front as well. And this will even it out, have a nice keel, and it'll sound great. So you don't need to go out and spend all that much extra money. Next up is Six Sniper for Unreal. He's got a question that I was really excited about because I think I just might be able to help this. I had the same problem too. When I installed my first system, I heard this like humming noise. And every time I went over a bump, my subs responded to that bump, and I, I was like, what the hell is going on? And there was like a humming noise, a heartbeat, like what you said when my car was running, and source pop, and all this is caused by ground loops, complex forms of ground loops. I think that you just might be grounded to your seat, because I was grounded to my seat, and when I took it off, and when I grounded it to a really like uniform part of the car, it was perfect, and I didn't hear anything really solid metal, I think you might be grounding to your seat because when I fixed it, it was it was like, oh my word, this is awesome. So get, leave me a comment and tell me if you are wiring t to bolts on your seat because you might be responding to the direct, right directly below what your car is feeling on the tires and things like that. So leave me a comment and tell me what you're doing because maybe we can get this fixed for you. <laughs> and now we got Soja Boy coming in with an unrelated question to car audio. Uh, he wants to know how to do more than one front handsprings. And uh, this is kind of cool, man. Uh, the secret is, is to pretend like you're throwing a soccer ball. Keep throwing that soccer ball. If you ever see those guys who do um, flips and then throw the soccer ball, just keep doing that. Throw your head over, come back. Throw your head over, come back. And keep doing that until you, uh, until you learn it. And uh, it's really a, that's really a short answer, but hey, you know, I figured I'd get you out on here, do a little thing for you. I hope I help. Coming in last but not least, we got Click Clack Blastem, 52. He's got four audio pipes in one box, I assume, and he's asking me if it's smart to use two different amplifiers to power it. I get this shit all the time because people say, hey, if you build one box, you'll get louder, and then I come back saying, I can't build one box because I have two amps. And you never match, excuse me, you never use two unmatching amplifiers in one enclosure. It creates cancellation, it creates a passive radiator effect, and it's not, it's not, a, not at all a good idea. If you had two boxes and had the two, the four fifteens in separate boxes, then yeah, go ahead and use your your um your one thousand D and your eleven hundred D, because as of right now, you're only kind of causing client cancellation and a passive radiator effect between different subwoofers during phasing of songs and things like that. So I recommend you know building two boxes or getting one big amp, because I know I get shit for it all the time. So you know that's what people like me and you have to deal with when we have two amps, but. Um, I'd get two separate boxes for ultimate, ultimate results. 